What's going on guys? Hope you're doing fantastic today. I went rack store shopping and I lucked out and I found this guy. I guess we don't really need an explanation of what we're going to be talking about. So let's see what all the chatter is about with this brand new mysterious 2021 release from Mont Blanc. Starwalker Extreme. Apparently so good that it went straight to rack stores. Let's talk. Stay tuned. Cue that intro. What's going on my beautiful fragrance family and welcome back to my two cents my name is brian and this is the channel all about helping boost your confidence through the art of fragrance and becoming a lasting scent memory i actually lucked out on this i actually was looking for this i went rack store shopping i went to five different rack stores and actually on my second rack store which happened to be a ross ran into this guy i did not see the new mont blanc individual tonic but i did find this they had one star walker and one star walker extreme but I got a 75 ml for $24.99. Look at that, $24.99. I can't, well, I mean, I think that's a good price. I don't know. I mean, it's pretty cheap for a brand new release. What's going on with Mont Blanc? Let's have a little discussion here. What Mont Blanc is doing is like a lot of my favorite movies. They didn't do very well in the theaters, so they sent them straight to VHS or DVD. Or these days, it's kind of like the movie's going straight to streaming. I want to know why they're doing that. How are they making any money? I mean, $24.99 for a brand new release? I don't know. I don't have an explanation for it. I haven't. I don't even know what the notes are for this because I don't even think they're up anywhere. I don't think anybody knew this was coming. It just popped out of nowhere like a brand new Death Star or something. So let's go ahead and get into the whiffs and sniffs. I'm going to do a little bit different on this episode, guys. We're just going to be laid back and chill. I'm going to open this up. We're going to do a unboxing and get do a first impressions. I don't have super high hopes for this, but I really enjoy the OG Star Walker. So let's see. Here we go. Luke, I am your father. That's all I got. All right, so here's your presentation. It's quite similar to the original Star Walker box but it's black with a kind of gradient stripe down the middle. Star Walker Extreme up front. It's an eau de toilette, 75 ml. Mont Blanc on the back. Batch code information on the bottom. Somebody told me that this is pretty Tonka bean heavy, so we'll see. Right, and here's the bottle. It's black, it's dark. I'm expecting this to be more of a night version of Star Walker. I haven't seen any reviews on this. I've just seen it it's popping up everywhere on social media. I can't remember who I saw that posted about this, but I was like, wait a second. Is that a new release? I don't remember them ever talking about Star Walker Extreme. So here's a comparison. Old bottle, obviously. Star Walker Extreme. All right, so same cap. Got the Mont Blanc Mountain crest right there. Let's get spraying and let's see how it is. I'm going to spray on this hand since I always spray on the other hand. Decent atomizer. Again, I have no idea what the notes are. I don't even think they're posted anywhere, but let's see. Hmm. This is definitely spicier. This is a completely different fragrance. Maybe some cardamom, black pepper, possibly some pink pepper. A little bit of citrus. Definitely get a lot of Tonka bean. It's not bad. It's not mind-blowing whatsoever. It's sweet. Maybe some vanilla. I don't get any of the original DNA really in it. There is some citrus. Not a whole lot, but there's enough there just to kind of brighten it up in the very beginning. It's a little, little fresh. Spicy. Sweet. Tonka bean heavy, man. Definitely a lot of Tonka bean. Hmm. Okay. Uh, be honest with you, it's an okay fragrance. I mean, it isn't spectacular. Lots of Tonka bean, spices. Don't really get anything. Maybe some lavender. You know what? I'm going to spray this right here. Yeah, they, I mean, there's no similarities. Maybe a little bit of the spiciness, but honestly, it's just your date night version of Star Walker. Slightly fresh, sweet, spicy, a little bit of woods coming out now. 
yeah i mean for 24.99 if you can find it for that price i definitely think it's good but i think this is probably gonna fall off the radar i don't see this going into anybody's like top five or top 10 of 2021 it's an okay release 24.99 that's a good price but i would not pay more than that i wouldn't pay 30 bucks for this honestly it's quite synthetic smelling now very very tonka bean heavy it's boring it's not something i would reach for if you like invictus victory if you like the most wanted code absolute code profumo many of those kind of fragrances uh the scent yeah this would definitely be in your wheelhouse but you know i don't know it's boring anyways that's it, guys. I mean, if you see this popping up at your rack stores, especially now that the holidays are coming around, I don't recommend paying more than 30 bucks for it. It's not worth it. $24.99, that's a good price. That's a good price. Maybe 30 bucks. I wouldn't go over that, no. It doesn't really make sense, honestly. I don't like when fragrances, they, I don't like when they do flankers that just don't really make sense. Actually, you know, it kind of does also remind me of it's, it almost is drying down like the uh, legend, Eau de Parfum. Sweet, spicy. Hmm. But legend Eau de Parfum is way better. Hmm. All right. Well, that's it, guys. Star Walker Extreme. Not so extreme. Doesn't really make sense. If you see it for a good price, $24.99, uh, sure, pick it up. That will probably be the only sprays that I spray out of this bottle for some time. It sucks because I don't really know where to tell you to get this except keep your eye out on discounters and definitely keep your eye out at rack stores. I got mine at Ross, so check out Ross, but I heard it's popping up at Nordstrom Rack. It's also popping up at Marshalls. I think you can get this at Nordstrom Rack online, not 100% on that, but if so, I'll leave it in the description down below. But let me know, have you tried Star Walker Extreme? What the hell do you think is going on with Mont Blanc? Why are all their brand new releases going straight to VHS? Leave me a comment down below. That's it for me today, guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your evening. If you enjoyed today's content, then do me a favor. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And always remember, you are stinking beautiful. And until next time, happy scent trails.